You guys have requested it over and over and over again, and here it is, our brand new Mark 8 Golf R Turbo Blanket. This is the successor to the really successful IS38. These are both available in carbon fiber and titanium. It just comes down to personal preference as to what one you prefer, but they both perform exactly the same. In the packet, you're gonna get your product guide. We recommend reading this cover to cover, as well as your fastening springs. These are relatively easy to fit, but I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So first step is to fit the hardest to reach springs. That's on this anchor point and this anchor point. Once that's done, we're then gonna feed it under the actuator arm around the turbine housing. Let's do that. So take this section of your turbo blanket, slide it underneath the actuator arm. It is gonna be a little bit tight, so take your time with this. Make sure you don't damage or tear the blanket in any way. Just be nice and patient and pull that all the way through. So you're gonna need the hardest to reach spring first. That's located down the core here. You're gonna even need to use a pick or a pair of pliers or maybe even a cable tie to try to grab that. I'm using a pick there. Just have a look through and once you've got that, pull the spring through. Then you might need to just grab that off there and fasten it just like so. Okay, now we're gonna repeat the same thing on the opposite side. If you look down there, you'll see the spring just hanging out the opposite side of the flange. So I'm gonna use my pick tool again to try to grab that and just fasten that on the anchor point like so. Okay, so the hard work is now done. It's all about trying to manipulate the blanket now, just so it sits and it doesn't interfere with anything else on the turbo. First up on the core, you've got the cooling lines, and you just need to make sure the blanket doesn't interfere with those, push that nice, out, nice and out the way. You'll also notice the blanket is quite wide in this section, and at the moment it's at the wrong side of the flange. You will obviously have a clamp on here, but you will want that to be the opposite side of that, or just sat on top, just so that there isn't any burning on the outside of the blanket where the heat isn't supposed to be. And then next you just need to pull the blanket down so the actuator isn't interfered with. I'll show you that now. So there we go, so we've got good clearance around the actuator now, as well as good coverage all the way down to the flange, covering the entire turbo. So that's it, you're all done. So that was it, that was how to fit a turbo blanket to the Mark 8 Golf R and the other cars that use the same platform. These are both available in carbon fiber and titanium like you see here and available now at funkmotorsport.com.